legal or philosophical set of questions <coughs> around how we were approaching population and development developed. It was also um, the first meeting that the Vatican participated in um, in a serious way. And um, the, the challenge at Bucharest, uh, the strong challenge at Bucharest around how we think about population, and it was always framed as population and development, not as reproductive health, but how we think about population and development, and within that, how we think about fertility control, um, where we really began to be discussed in conflictual ways, uh, with people from developing countries saying, <coughs> development is, in essence, the best contraceptive, and others saying, you know, family planning is the best thing for development, and that, that, that was where that conflict first emerged. Um, it, it was not by any means resolved, uh, and uh, the nature <coughs> of the UN's involvement in population and, and development policies through UNFPA um, at that point re remained very much, uh, and that of, developing, of developed countries' interventions in this area remained very much focused on demographics. Um, by the time we hit the 1984 meeting in um, Mexico City, we had uh, Ronald Reagan as our president, and the United States, the Vatican, uh, joined at that meeting in a way to uh, argue very much in the same way developing countries had argued in 1984. 70, in 19, yeah, 1974 uh, about not so much from a progressive perspective on a broad-based agenda, but from a regressive agenda against family planning. But, you know, this, this area of population and reproductive health has always served as a surrogate for larger issues around how we are going to construct the engagement between North and South and how we are going to deal um, with the broader questions of development, poverty, environment, etc. And it was in 1984 that a number of principles um, were established by the U U.S. through that meeting that strongly influenced policy and affected PSI as well as many, many other organizations. That was the birth of what was called the Mexico City Policy, um, which um, really especially focused on um, the exclusion of abortion in any way, shape, or form, whether it's research, advocacy, uh, you know, services, whatever it is, from any legitimate space in the family planning community. And it was as a result of the what was, con what was in essence, a global gag rule on abortion that was established in 1984 in Mexico City that USAID ultimately withdrew completely from <coughs> any activity uh, in this area. And of course, that ha had a chilling effect on both family planning and abortion-related, safe abortion activities in the larger NGO community Inter internationally, I mean, USAID simply, and in the early years when, when Reagan was in power, the levels of enforcement of such a, of this policy were very, very, very strong. Um, again, although it still needs to be said that up through 1984 and the 1984 meeting, the notion of how we would think about family planning, and it was family planning that we thought about, not reproductive health, though that terminology is even newer, was very, was still very demographically driven, was still, but still highly professionalized around impact and outcome on population size and <coughs> growth. And so throughout that period of time, 74, 84, uh, in, even into the lead up to the 1994 meeting, um, you know, there, there were efforts to uh, look at the way in which we approached our assistance from the U.S. and the way in which other countries approached their assistance in the family planning arena was very much focused on 